All right, today we're gonna change it up a bit. We're gonna make some burgers, get them done the right way. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is get your grill really hot. So usually I turn all burners on high and then I close it down and I want it to be around the 500, 600 ish area of being really, really hot. Then the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna wash your hands for a good 20 seconds or more. Um, it is COVID-19 season. So you wanna get the backs and the front of your fingers as well. Yeah, just make sure you rinse them really good because we're gonna be touching some of this meat with our bare hands. Give it a good rinse there. Rinse the front and the backs and between the fingers. And that is how you wash your hands. Next week, we're gonna be talking about primary colors. Next, we got the raw hamburger meat here. Got some patties that my lovely bride made. Um, also, you wanna pour in a little ramekin. I pour some olive oil as well as put a, a tissue in there. And I'm gonna show you why we do that in a second here. Also, we're gonna take outside with us this bottle of olive oil. I do need to fill up again. I did make sure we have enough propane this time, so we are gonna grill burgers complete today. Okay, now our grill is nice and hot. Woo. What you wanna do is take the olive oil in this napkin here and get it on the tongs there. Then what you wanna do is you wanna wipe down the grill with this. And you want the olive oil on the grill so that the burgers don't stick to it. Gonna wipe that really good on there. There we go. There we go. Get good olive oil on the entire grill. Up here as well, because when we put cheese on it, that's where we are going to rest the burgers. Okay. That's that part. I let it heat up just a little bit more. Got these up here, and we want this to go up to about a little over 500. That's when we'll start. Okay, now we're really close. The grill's over 500. I'm going to turn this down, all the burners down to about medium, and we're going to open this up with our burgers here. These are our burgers. What you want to do is press right in the middle with your thumb with each of them. Then what we're going to do is pour a little olive oil into the middle of them because what happens with that is the patties will then stay nice and moist as the olive oil in the middle will spread to the outside. I think, I think that's the science behind it. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so we're gonna throw these burgers on the grill now. spread them evenly on the grill there and now we wait about six to eight minutes for these burgers to grill on one side you only want to flip them once while the meat is cooking right now i kind of want to talk about the kind of meats that you use i usually use about an 80 20 fat um, meat because the higher the fat the better taste you're going to get and that does also affect the way that you cook them um, if you cook them and they don't have enough fat in them and you're cooking it on high, you're gonna dry those burgers right out. And that's not what we want. We want a good tasting, a good, delicious hamburger. All right, let's get a good look at these burgers here. Now they're looking good. You can see the top here. But if you get a look at the bottoms, you see how they're browning there? They're about ready to be flipped over. So let's... Mm, see those good grill marks right there? That's exactly what we want on the burger, are those beautiful grill marks. Okay, give them a test here. So again, we want the burgers right along the middle here so that they're all cooking at the same temperature. You're gonna have a warmer temperature in the back than you are in the front. So wherever you hook them, just make sure you keep them consistent together. Okay, let's close that up for about another uh, six to seven minutes. All right, the safe cooking temperature for hamburgers is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's test them out. Look how good those look. We 
are looking at 161. Okay, we're gonna test them all out. Put them on the top rack. This one is 161, 154. Oop. Throw that one on top. This one is at 172. Let's test this one out. 167, they're all looking good. Throw them all on top. All right, these are all looking good. I throw them on the top rack because what we want to do is make some delicious cheeseburgers. Now, the best way to do this is you put them on the top rack there. Show a little cheese love to all of them. Got some good pieces of cheddar. I'm just gonna leave on the top here. Hi, buddy. Okay, stay back, okay? Oh, thank you. You brought me a sunflower? Thank you. Oh, thank you, buddy. I mean, it's a dandelion. Okay, we don't have enough cheese for all of them. That one's not going to have cheese on it. But what you want to do while the grill's hot is that you want to leave the burgers on the top rack for about 30 to 60 seconds for that cheese to melt on top of it. We've got a plate here. So it's important to use a plate because what you want to do is you don't want to stack the burgers on top of each other. If you do that, then the cheese is going to stick to them all. So you want them side by side on the plate. Okay, now let's take a look at how our burgers are doing. Oh, that cheese is nice and melted on top. Thanks, buddy. Let's take our burgers off, put them on the plate. Looks like the cheese isn't quite melted in the middle of those, but that's okay. And these you'll notice that the cheese is melting below, but that's all right. Those will burn off. And that is how you grill burgers. But we're not done yet. There's a whole meal we're gonna make. Okay, what's good is your grill is nice and hot still. There's a perfect time to clean it off. So that way next time when you So that way next time when you go to use your grill, it's not as hard to clean off. Okay. No no meal is complete without veggies. So we got this nice pan here I got from the Home Depot. Put some veggies mixed with olive oil. I'm going to turn all of the burners off except for these two that I'm going to have the veggies on. And I've already mixed them, so what we're going to do is put them in here. Let those cook up. We want this to be really hot. Let those spread out. What's great about this specific pan is you can take this off, tuck it in, let it warm up. We want to sear those on one side to saute them and keep the juices inside of the veggies. I don't know if you can see this, but there's the pits and some of these mushrooms with the stems taken out. What's great is if you grill it up here and let the juices fill in there. All right, see these mushrooms here? They're starting to get juicy inside. That's how you know that they're close to done. What you want to do is you want to pour that juice all over the other veggies. It's looking good there. Look at that, the sun has come out for our perfect meal. Look at those veggies, those are gonna be good. I'm gonna go eat them now, but anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and leave a comment, do all that stuff. And uh, I don't know if this is a little different this time, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.